Hello and welcome to Sports Opinion, the weekly sports talk show on Channel 18, that's Public Access TV. My name's Dirk Keller, Bob Boyd, Bud Suple's back in the ring, welcome back Bud. And this okay. here is Earl Murphy, and it's his show, so mind your manners. <laughs> Earl the Pearl. <laughs> well, Bud, we missed you last week. Heard you were out on assignment. That's right. Scouting the uh, Regina opponent. Beckman. <laughs> <laughs> Dyersville, you went to the Dyersville-Beckman-Regina game, yeah, right? Yeah, I sure did. Okay. So that was high. a nail biter. Stayed away from her. Oh, it was. What a thriller. Well, you know what, you, I sat up there and I thought, these kids... I played one half, and then they went out and never come back in. Yep. And I just think that, and this is my opinion, <laughs> but I just think they got pooped playing a full game. Wow. I know they shouldn't have, but it just looked like they were, the defense was just dragging. Well, well that's a good point. They you know, still they won. Haven't, yeah, they that's right. a tough game all year, and that, yeah. and all those kids you're saying had not been on the field for us all year. That's right. Yeah. It was 28 to nothing at halftime. 21 nothing. 21 nothing. Yeah. It got to. Did it get to 20? 28 seven. Okay. 35 right. seven guys. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it, right seven away, or eight minutes to, left. We come out, we scored. It was 28 to seven. Yeah. And then they started their marches. Yes. And it was just now, in defense of them, they have a good football team. Yes. And that yeah. quarterback's just a junior. Oh really? So you'll see them around. Wow. How tall is he, Bud? Did they have him listed? 6'2", uh, 6'3"? Six, six, no, or I don't think he's that big, Bob. Okay. I'd, uh, well, he got high. I'd say 6 foot. Oh, and he, he, moves, he moves around so fat. Otherwise, our guys are running this way, and then they come back and run this way. And I brought the ends off the guys that they were supposed to be getting. Yep. And he'd throw a pass. Now, this is Dyersville Beckman, right. yep. who was coached by a former Hawkeye and teammate. Right. Of Marv uh, Cooks, right. the Correct. Regina coach. Yeah. Uh, pretty, uh, pretty unique there. Hammond was that his name? Yes, Hammond. Yeah. I don't remember him. I don't remember him playing. He might have been on the team with Marv. Do you remember Murph? No, nope. no. Okay. No, I don't either. I don't. Yeah. Well, I know they had a good team. They had only lost to uh, Fayette. North Fayette. North yeah. Fayette. Yeah. And um, they put up a daggone good fight. Another coach, Hammond, was emotional after the game. KCRG interviewed him, and he was a little emotional about seeing these kids go away. They had a close, tight-knit group, and mm -hmm. Catholic school against another. Yeah. So now, uh, Saturday morning, 1 o'clock, Regina goes up against Spirit Lake, and Bud has been out scouting and uh, has, uh, has what, the poop. What was it scouting? <laughs> scouting <laughs> report, <laughs> Bud. Well, Spirit Lake, I watched the game. I did they too. played afterwards, and they're real similar to Solon. Oh, have a roving quarterback and he runs and he does it. Yeah. And I now this this is my opinion, but as I watched them, but they're so scrappy. If you if you remember the Des Moines Richter had West Marshall number one all year. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so and, they and were, still did this weekend. Yeah. They still had him listed as number okay. one. And that's so, who Sorry City B, right? Spirit Lake. Spirit, Spirit Lake, Lake, I'm yes. sorry. Yes, <clears throat> and uh, you know, they're up by Spencer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they play in that conference up there, which I don't know the name of it. But uh, they're going to be tough. I mean, they're, yeah. they're scrappy kids, and they run and run and run. I mean, they didn't give West Marshall a chance to pass the ball or run the ball. Wow. I'll tell you, uh, I'm glad that Dyersville Batman did what they did because the, they woke the, uh, Regina up. That's yep. right. I agree. I agree. That's right, Mark. Yeah. I just, yeah. Well, yeah. Good. I, I, I have all the confidence in the world in, in the cook. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Good example. <clears throat> Your grandson's a punter. He punted more of that game than he did all season long. Combined? <laughs> Is that right? He punted twice at Solon and then it's the season and Is then three that times right? that game. So well, I mean <clears throat> you know that something happened that this don't that's, happen. <laughs> that's gotta be yeah. a record for punts in a season. Holy cow. For fewest punts in a yeah, season. Right. Well the, wow. the guy that caught the ball the last uh, the free kick uh, on kickoff. Mm -hmm. well, the the onside kick? Yeah, he just. Yeah, Westmeyer, he did one. Was that? No. Napolo. No, Napolo. Yeah. Napolo. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> These are a lot of credit because he just grabbed it and laid it right down. Yeah, that yeah. yeah, was a huge play right now, there. Now, yeah. Bud, the Regina quarterback, Nate Streb, got hurt, came back in the game with a bad ankle. I think the ankle's okay, but 
But one of the problems they got is he's got these two fingers mm. hurt pretty bad, and they're made into one. Into in that game, he got hurt. Yeah. Okay. And so uh, their quarterback is going to have a difficult time, maybe well, throwing the ball well, on Saturday. Or I'll tell you, the kid is such an athlete. Yeah. I think he'll work through it. I mean, he's, he does everything. However, if Spirit Lake watched that game, they know what to do. Oh, yeah. And I don't want him getting hurt again because they're going to come after him, and that's what they did to the West Marshall. Well, Regina's got a good backup. Yes. He's going to be No. Who? Did he get a blank hurt? on his name. I know he's gone. He's out. He's out of he got hurt. Leg. He got hurt down me. couple games. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> What's his so name? The backup would be Drew Cook. Yeah. Would be, True freshman. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, that was too much pressure yeah, on a true freshman. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mars boy. Uh, that's Mars boy. Yeah. He's, he's ready then. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he's going to be getting ready this yeah, week. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize. What's the backup's name that got hurt? Oh, uh, was it West? Uh, uh, begin with W? Yeah, Ward. Ward. Yeah. I saw him now, play. Ward, we all saw him play quite a bit this year. Yeah, Ward is a very good quarterback. He is good. And he's a very, very good athlete. He's good in basketball. I mean, all these kids are. What and, year is Ward, buddy? He, sophomore. He, yeah, sophomore. So he'll yeah. be. Uh, he and Drew Cook will be uh, right. vying for that and quarterback spot next season. You never know about Marv. He may find somebody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, I talked to two coaches, one from Monticello and one from Dubuque, and they told me, as far as I'm concerned. City High, West High, and Regina have the best athletes in the whole state. Really? Wow. I mean, he's just in uh, Dubuque High, plays against City High and West. Mm -hmm. And Mount yeah. plays against Dyersville. But they were saying they're good in track, they're good in volleyball, they're good in everything. Oh. Yeah. Soccer, and, yeah. And that's a privilege yeah. to Iowa City to know that all our schools are so good. I mean, look what our volleyball, girls they volleyball. Are. You know, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that. It was just incredible that... City High West High faced off for the state title in volleyball last Saturday. Just incredible. I don't think that's ever happened before. In a five-setter. Yeah, yeah. That was a close yeah. match. Yeah, I ended up losing only four uh, matches all year, and I don't think West High even lost that many. I think they did. Did they lose that many? I think they lost. Yeah. City High had an edge on them. I think but you're you know, right. I think what that West High and I was so happy for them, and you know I don't yeah. like picks. You're right. Oh, go ahead. But since that girl was killed. Yeah, Caroline she was a good found. volleyball. Yeah. She um, was their team leader. Yeah. She was their setter. So, I mean, I was really happy for that <laughs> sake there, those girls really. And I was really happy for Caroline there. Yeah. He didn't just lose a daughter, he lost a wife. A wife, yeah, I know. It. Uh, it's been a tough year for him, and I think there was a lot of, yeah. of uh, mending done right. through West High Volleyball. And it's just a tragedy that we just can't imagine. You know, it's. That's right. Just unspeakable. And <coughs> I'm real happy for the West High team. I also thought it was really neat in the paper. <coughs> the uh, mm. reporter, I don't know who covered it, I think Susan Harmon, yeah. she talked about how the City High girls and the West High girls all got together after the game, that some of them even started practicing for their club team the very next day. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're bitter enemies. No. Uh, and I really like to hear that. That's like right. To read that. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think but Iowa so City, we have to be so privileged to have these. And if these two coaches, you know, there's a lot of coaches think the same thing. Well, wouldn't they it be don't. nice if the University of Iowa could the same success in volleyball going? Yeah. That would be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just, yeah. no matter who coaches that team, they seem to struggle. And this is a big volleyball state. I'd like yeah. to see more out of mm -hmm. maybe the Hawkeye. They, maybe they need more, more girls from Iowa City, huh? Yeah. City of High and West can't do Montana. much worse than they've done. That's well, right. City High only lost four matches, and three of them were to West. Is that right? They lost, I think, the head-to-heads during the oh, season. Okay. And then they lost the tournament. So uh, it was clearly the best two volleyball teams in that class. But uh, but West came back. They uh, City High won the first two sets. Mm -hmm. And West had to come back. I didn't realize City High won the first two. I believe yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then. Uh, wow. Yeah, West That's came back up rallied, I guess, there. and uh, but uh, it was nice to see them both there. Yeah. Well, congratulations yep. to West High and their football teams. City oh. High and West High oh, had yeah. good football teams this year. Yeah, they really did. That's the best team in several years, and uh, they did a great job. And you know, 
Some guy said if they combined all three of those schools for football team, <laughs> he said something he didn't like. He said they could beat Iowa. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, Whoever that was he, wasn't he very smart. Kind of, <laughs> he was exaggerating, but when you were th saying that, I was thinking it. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of the Iowa football team, uh, the senior day has come and gone. Oh, boy. We, uh, we saw a heck of a Michigan State team. I wished with their defense. Yeah. Earl, what would you think? Well, I think it borders on cheating the way they oh. ended, that, ended that game. Well, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about They've that. They've done that uh, at, other games this year, apparently. Yes, they yeah. did it at Nebraska. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To no avail, they still lost the game. 24-3. to three. Yeah. Yeah. But what we witnessed. That, that was terrible. It was just poor sportsmanship. Mm-hmm. And I, something they're, they're coached that way. Yes, they yeah. are. They have to be. And they didn't have to do it against. Yeah, that's right. They had a big enough lead. They didn't have to do that. Well, yeah. but but still, they didn't they, have they, to. They, do they, that. they were just trying to their, take away your they're, momentum. They were told by their coach. That's right. No, no just, just yeah. uh, hold on. That if uh, if Iowa starts uh, a run, uh, lay down the fourth, the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. Lay down. And that's wrong. It's real wrong. Mm -hmm. Now you guys lived through the Notre Dame. 1953 fainting Irish yes, game. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This was this appeared to be worse than that. I haven't been a Notre Dame fan since then. That's right. But I mean, now it's just on TV. Mm -hmm. They were really upset. The, the one guy said that guy's been in and out of here three times. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that was uh, two or ten. ten. Oh, what was? Uh, I know 99 was one of them. That, that, <coughs> that, that's their star lineman. Oh, worthy. Yeah. yeah, worthy. Yeah. Yeah. And he is much admitted mm -hmm. to the Gazette mm -hmm. after the game that See, this is what they are taught to do. Yes. If They're, the other team's getting momentum, that's right. As hurry up offense, which Iowa was running, and we did have momentum. Yeah, that's right. We See, did. There's only one way you can eliminate that, and that's an NCAA rule mm -hmm. that says mm -hmm. you get hurt in a series, you don't come back in until the next series of downs. That's which, means, which means the next possession. That's correct. Right, and that's what the high schools are Then doing. you'll change it. If that you get hurt there, you yes. out of there until the next yeah. time yeah. you get the ball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the only way to stop it. It's the only way to stop it. Why we don't do it. Otherwise, you don't Oh, know. there's going to be a change after mm -hmm. this season. Mm -hmm. You think there's, so? Yeah. Well, well yeah, I, really, I know Kurt complained to Delaney. Well, this isn't the only team that's doing it. Uh, uh -huh. Out in the Pac-10, Oregon. Which has that hurry up offense that never huddles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what the teams in the Pac 10 are doing to them. To slow they're, them up. They're laying down. Sure. And so this isn't the only instance of it yeah. out there, but the rule book right now just allows it to happen. How, how long a timeout can they take injury? Yeah, I think that's that, as long as it takes. To get yeah, off. yeah right. it depends that's on the seriousness. The one guy laid there like he was dead. <laughs> oh yes. my God. Yeah. <laughs> Three times, like Earl said. <laughs> yeah. Three times. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then there was one guy who was running off the field just <coughs> fine and dandy as if he was just coming out and someone replacing him. And I don't know what happened, but halfway off the field, he just collapses. Yeah. I mean, just collapses you like know, he'd been shot. Yeah, you can't compare that with a Penn State situation. Oh, no. But, uh, but a state uh, borders on uh, breaking laws like, uh, right. like the Big Ten has. Uh, that's wrong. Uh, it tells Michigan you a lot State of, also has a reputation of what? playing a little bit dirtier than everybody else. Yeah, that's over right. the years. Mm -hmm. Well, we know what they did a couple of years ago when Iowa was there, and they knocked out our wide receiver, and um, Dan and Dan got our safety too, didn't they? Well, yeah, and, and he ago? complained about he. Uh, now think about that. He com about the penalty for head to or for the hit, blow to the head. Mm -hmm. Uh, we but know that wasn't he's... Wasn't it nice when they'd say that uh, Michigan State has lost seven years in a row to the Hawkeyes? Oh, yeah. yeah they they hadn't won here since 89. That, you know, uh, That's one that shocked me. I didn't realize. I didn't realize. Oh, 22 yeah. years it had been. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Well, we just got But the best the one that really got him is three years ago mm -hmm. when they went ahead with nine... 60 seconds, and we went to field into a pass and beat him. Was that As three or two years ago? Two years ago, two years ago. Just yeah, two years ago, okay. And how about last year when Michigan State comes in here and all they had to do was beat Iowa, mm -hmm. and they finish the conference undefeated. Well, Rose Bowl. They and go to the Rose, Rose Bowl. Bowl. And <laughs> not only did Iowa beat them, they oh, beat, they seven beat seven. the tar out of them. 37-7. to seven. Yeah. It's almost like it was a reverse yep. game. But yep. they remember that. That's why they played so well Saturday. Yeah. Well, they they played well, was, but they 
they ruined them yeah. by uh, uh, taking the, yeah. the uh, uh, time, uh, time outs. They, they had about nine time outs. Well, and you talk about breaks. I mean, four times Cousins fumbled the snap <laughs> from the center on the exchange, <clears throat> and a couple of them deep in their territory. Yeah. We mm -hmm. didn't get on one of them. Not one of them. And all we needed maybe was one of those. Mm -hmm. And uh, to turn the tide a little bit. But, you know, we just didn't have very good luck as well. They had the breaks. They got the breaks. I thought the referees, especially in the first half, oh. were some of them really questionable. Mm. And you know who that referee crew was? Michigan. That was Dave Witt Voet, <laughs> the, oh, the, the Michigan grad who refereed the Michigan game here in 2005 when yeah. there were some incredible mystery mm. calls made that handed the game to Michigan. Yeah. I hate to be complaining about the refs. But I didn't realize he was that was a bad yeah. uh, oh. officiated football game. Well, it was, you know, we were the least penalized team in the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. And in the, we had, I think, four penalties. Uh, they terrible. They were, yeah. Each of them were just momentum killers. Mm -hmm. And I'm not... Well, uh, three times they really got called for a motion. Yeah. Yeah. And I swear mm. they were all side on one that's of those. That's right. Yeah. About the middle of the field. Right. That's right. <clears throat> I don't know. It uh, it was just one of those games where nothing seemed to go right. Even when it did, we couldn't get over the hump. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Um, it was just and you know turnovers. We talked about that a little bit ago. Iowa had turnovers that resulted in touchdowns for Michigan State. That's yeah. fourteen points. And they exactly. And uh, you know the it, the final score of the game was a sixteen point deficit. Mm -hmm. I wrote it down here. Uh, they had an interception and a fumble for two quick touchdowns. Mm -hmm. That gave them a 31 to seven halftime yeah. lead, and Iowa was moving into score in the fourth quarter when another fumble mm -hmm. by uh, Derby on the five, and it our scoring drive right there. Mm -hmm. I mean that's a 21 point swing that one in a 16 Derby. point game. But it gave us first ten too. Yeah, yeah. Might have uh, given us seven points. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It could. <laughs> it could have real easy. Yeah, sure. Well, you because know what? Because he was almost. We got to win Saturday against Purdue. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If we want a bowl game, we got to win. Yep. Yeah, right now we're at a position where there's going to be teams with six wins, <laughs> and we only have eight bowls. Mm -hmm. So somebody's going to be out of something. Well, Northwestern won't be going to a bowl game. Well, why not? Oh, why yeah, not? they will. All they have to do is They win. still have to win a game to get them all eligible. Indiana, Indiana this week. Never know. And then, and then the only, but, the only Michigan two teams has got to win. Who's going to take Northwestern? Northwestern. They, uh, don't have, they don't have fans. They well, don't I travel. That last well, they'll year. take us before they take Northwestern. Is that? Oh, yeah. yeah. If we, let's say if well, we then do that's three. Uh -huh. Are you going to say the same about Illinois? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Their coach is about to get fired. He is about yeah, to get know. fired. The writers got enough. Ar argument with him and he's did you see that he, <laughs> he walked out of the news conference yeah. didn't he Murph? yeah yesterday he said first thing he said when uh, when the zucker started his news conference is i want to talk about the football game and what pertains to football i do not want to talk about me or my future here with this Why? program yeah. and if you do i'm out see i think the perfect scenario <laughs> i think what's going to happen is i hate to see it zook's going to get here <laughs> we'd like to see him stay at illinois all oh yeah time. But he's going to get fired there at the end of the year, and I think the perfect job for him would be Penn State. What do you think? Ooh. Send him up to Penn State. No, Ooh. that won't happen. I'm just being. Well, I'd fear that. You know, you say that, uh, uh, that uh, they might not have a season next year, and that might happen. You think? Penn State. I, I certainly do. Well, they're not going to have any recruits for sure. That's right. Penn State's losing their recruits left and right. Yeah. But tell yeah. me this last week. And there was a lot of talk about it. Mm -hmm. it's, there's a lot of talk about it this week. Yeah. Well, I mean, last week canceling the game. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What would have that done with the teams Penn State already beat? Nothing. It wouldn't cancel the season. No, the what, then some, some of your teams wouldn't be playing a full schedule then. Here's no. what could happen. Well, wait, wait, season, okay. guys, but they may not accept a bowl. Season, about next season. No, but if they would have canceled last week's game, which they talked about, oh, it would have been a forfeit. Yeah, two to nothing. They'll, They'll finish the one season. To nothing. They'll finish so the not, season. They get now, Nebraska would have just automatically. Get, yeah, did, did anything happen when Ohio State, when Tesla got fired, mm -hmm. to their schedule? Had to cancel all of them. Mm -hmm. Sure, they did. 
trestle? Yes. Well, they yeah. didn't. No, no. They forfeit didn't. all of them. Ours they was forfeited. forfeited. Oh, 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 oh. They forfeited, they forfeited their games. Yes. yes. Retroactively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But is that right? Yeah. 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 yeah they were 0 and 13 last year. But it also doesn't change. <laughs> right. If we should have went that one. Yeah. Uh, but here's now. Here's what's State interesting. Is terrible. It doesn't change our record. Right. Mm -hmm. Now that makes absolutely no sense to me. Me yeah. either. If you're going to penalize a team and say, okay, you're going to forfeit all 13 games last year, then guess what? Mm -hmm. The teams that you forfeited against should. That's, that's right. right. I agree with you. And that's what but I'm they don't. That's what I'm saying about we could have picked up a victory there if they would have done it. Yeah. That's they didn't right. do it. That's I right. mean, I was sitting there thinking, now what's going to happen here? Yeah. Well, do you think that, he, that the higher ups knew that this guy was molesting boys? Yeah, I do. I I, I think why. they. I mean, I do now. That size, you know I do well, now. And yeah. I never believed this, but I listened to one of those news programs. But to me, and I learned a lot of mafia when I was in school. This whole thing sounds like the mafia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now they got a county attorney somewhere there that was investigating it. And they found him dead. They didn't find they him. They didn't find him. Oh, they haven't found he him. He disappeared. His oh, car was okay. at the river and his laptop <laughs> computer <laughs> was wiped clean. He was well, just, that's right. He, did, he right. was just recently declared. You know what dead. I mean? It just sounds like the mafia yeah. going from one to the next. Well, that was like in 05 or 06, he disappeared. 05. Yeah. Right. And 03 is when? This, right. 02. 02 and 03. 03 is when he he dropped charges. He never pursued him against Sandusky. Didn't feel he had enough proof. This guy? This yeah, guy. this this uh, district attorney. The one yeah. you got now? No, the no. one that, that disappeared. Okay, this would happen. But he said he wasn't going to drop it. He was going to still investigate. And I think maybe they were pulling in on Papa, and Papa said, <laughs> told the gangs. I mean, you know, it's That's sad right. to say, but... I had somebody tell me the exact same thing. You guys know who Jim Mondanero is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Italian as the day yeah, is right. long. Yeah, right. That's right. You know the And mom. when this is just unfolding, Jim calls and talks to me about the Hawkeyes all the time. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have time to go to the games, but he watches them and just lives and dies by mm -hmm. them, just like we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when this was all unfolding, he said, Dirk, I, at the time, I was still in disbelief and said, I just can't believe that Paterno knew well, about this mm -hmm. stuff and that if if anyone knew about it didn't say anything he said dirk it's different here in the midwest than it is there out east oh, yeah. he said it is an italian thing he said it's a mob thing there's a different mentality out there that you don't talk life is not is not as important out there as it is here very well put earl hmm. uh he said, you just have to trust me on this. He said, it's a different world out here than it is out there. And well, I won't uh, convince till they find that county attorney. I don't think they're going to. And, and uh, even the president uh, yes. uh, of Penn State, yeah. uh, he, he got fired. A he? man of yes. letters. Yeah, I, that's oh, he thought. got fired. Yeah, they got fired like right that. away. So and this is right. why I feel this whole thing. He yeah. lied to the grand jury. Yes. Yes. That's right. And, and he was so pious, you know. Hmm. Uh, he was the head of the NCAA Rules Committee, the whole country. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know he lied the grant. I thought yes, the he director and the and other. him and, and him. him. Oh, okay. And then you go back to this, this uh, coach, that Sandusky. Post, Sandusky, the scene is all. No, that's McQuarrie. McQuarrie, the redhead. The redhead. Right. Now he tells the grand jury that he did not report it to the police department. Yesterday he gave a statement mm -hmm. saying he did report it. Mm -hmm. right. Now he's like, and, he's and, in deep trouble. And he said he stopped the act progress. Right. Which he didn't tell but the see, grand jury. See what I'm getting at on there. Now he's probably getting pressure for telling the grand jury what he did. So he's scared, so now he's changing his story. I mean, well, it's I think a mess. I think he's heard the criticism. Why didn't you stop it? Why didn't you report it? And so he's reacting maybe the other way. The problem with that now is this. He told the grand jury something else. So now when it goes to court, how can you how can you verify which testimony? What, when, when, when was he telling the truth and when was he lying? So does that mean they throw out his testimony altogether? So he didn't. He could have harmed the case by what he's come out with lately. Right, has Joe Paterno got anything to do with this? Yes. 
I, well, I think so. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Well, that took his name off the trophy. Look, Isn't that I, something? I mean, uh-huh. how could you not know when you're mm. a control freak That's like Joe about. Paterno? Mm-hmm. I mean, he's, he's, he's been a great man, and we all thought he had great integrity, and he's a great coach. But, those guys you know, kneel, in that town, down. and you don't know what's going on, that's hard to believe. And those guys kneeling in front of his house? Oh, it's, it's oh sick. I know. I mean, sick. And they're coming back. It's right? a, they're coming back every night. Are they now, really? he sold his house for $800,000. Take it back. He transferred his house in his wife's name. When, 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 when? In July. Oh. So he knew that investigation was going on in July. Uh-huh. I'll be there. What's that? Of selling or transferring Well, they can't take title. it away from her if she's not involved. Otherwise, these uh, lawsuits would take it. Well, you you could if you could prove intent yeah. to do that on purpose, okay? I mean... I'd, I'd hate to have that test in a court of law. I mean, no, but regard, it's not. Irregardless, it's going to cost no, the university. It, and, this and, is a, and what I'm saying, if you it, had a, a lawsuit. It's Italian court, Bob. Uh-huh. <laughs> Depends on who the judge is <laughs> and the jury. But they're going to get sued all over the world. Oh, oh yeah. They are. And he's going to, Joe's going to lose everything he's got. Mm-hmm. Now, this way, by transferring that big. over to her. Who, what, what, how, are they, who are they suing? Oh, well, they'll sue them all. Anyone involved. Anyone they involved. They will, yeah. And, yeah. and is this about, thing will go. About 40, uh, oh, I think more than that. Is that is I really is think that more right? than that, right? Oh, yeah. Here's what will happen, I think. I don't think they'll ever prove that Joe Paterno had anything to do with it. Oh, baloney. Oh, I don't. In a, in a court of law, I'm telling you, I bet that won't get proved. I agree. Uh, the other stuff will be probably fairly obvious. Yeah. Yeah. But, well, <clears throat> go back. One guy brought up uh, Elvis Presley sleeping with those boys. <laughs> he got off the hook. Elvis Presley. Or not Al. Oh, you mean Michael Jackson. Michael oh, Jackson. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't mess with Elvis. Right? <laughs> they, they both look, <laughs> they both look the same. Yeah, but anyway, the same, no. you're treading on sacred ground there, buddy. But he yeah. won in court, but he got some money in the... Yeah. He shook her all up now. Yeah. yeah. Elvis, like that. Man. <laughs> Elvis of Elvis. Elvis Presley <laughs> sleeping with boys. <laughs> I don't think he so. You didn't this. hear it here. <laughs> I'm glad he's not alive. This reminds me of of, of the Catholic Church. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. There are a lot of similarities. Mur- similarities. Cover ups. That's the very thing. Cover up. Said denial. And you know what? What? He's a very big Catholic. Joe. Joe. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. and so are the four I bet of us. He's had the, bishops, sing else. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the Catholic yeah, I, Church. I agree with you 100. Mm-hmm. percent And yeah. I love the Catholic Church. I know, and I but do too. I have to, and I'm getting tired of them. Mm-hmm. Getting involved in things like yeah, this. Yeah. Yep. And that goes for even our diocese. Well, right. Keep oh, absolutely. They'll be That's throwing me out before the game. <laughs> no, they won't. No, they won't. That'll be a sign when you go to church tomorrow morning. <laughs> Bud Sippel. <laughs> yeah. Well, not Bud, allowed. Bud Sippel. <laughs> Boy, he, he, the choir law. He, five of them real quick. Yeah. You know, I, I think we all could, uh, mm-hmm. unfortunately. Um, I think we're also, the four of us sitting right here, mm-hmm. very fortunate that we didn't go through that, and I think a lot of Penn State fans have to step back, take a look, and say, okay, it wasn't us, it wasn't me, but it was our program, and we have to deal with it. I thought wow. I thought it was really poignant, uh, was it Friday night or Saturday night last weekend when they had a candlelight vigil, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I didn't see it, I don't think, until after the game Saturday, but there were thousands of people that showed up not to protest the firing or not to hold vigil outside Joe's house, but to hold vigil for the victims. That's right. So mm-hmm. there's a much larger group yeah, that's right. that, that recognizes what's important. And this is a, a, a woman proposition. Mm-hmm. Women are really involved. Oh, and women are angry about that's it. That's right. Well, it's their children. That's right. Well, that's right. You know, they're, they're, they're the ones that really... And these are all men. Right. To the best of our knowledge, mm-hmm. that withheld information, that's right. that looked the other way, mm-hmm. that turned a blind eye, and that's what I have a real problem with. How do you just ignore it? I, I, how do you do that? See, another I, thing you'll never Well, that's where Jim Montanaro said it's I an Italian I, thing. I, I that this I, guy had as many tickets he wanted to get, mm-hmm. and he gives these tickets to these kids. Mm-hmm. And matter of fact, he took one kid to the Alamo Bowl. 
That's oh, right. Geez. Really? Yes. Oh, yes. It's well, and I, Alamo maybe Bowl. that's what triggered it because that was, I think it was the Alamo Bowl of 98. Yeah, I think you're right. 99. And that might have been a trigger right. that kind of woke up people in the program. Because, you know, he retired at 55 years old. I, I Maybe he was told it. at that time, hey. That's, that's 10 years ago. Or yes. That's, that's what's yeah. just, so, like you said, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just nuts. Well, I, I'm convinced this investigation has been going on for 10, 12 years. Mm -hmm. well, well, I'll mm -hmm. tell you what. We're going to be hearing about it for the next two or three years. Oh, months. I know. And just imagine if and this every day happened here. Story. Oh. Imagine what it would do to the fan base. What's the psyche? A guy knocks on the door, and he says, I'm a Penn State recruiter. You oh, think, I think I, that guy, guy get the door closed right in his face. Yeah. Well, the I only yes, yeah. the only recruits they're going to get in the next couple of years are kids that grew up in that state that love that university, like kids that grew up in Iowa and want to be Hawkeyes. They, they they're the only the kids Iowa. that will. <laughs> but huh? even they that, must hate Iowa. even that, won't you be a scared to sign some papers? When you don't know if their season's not going to be canceled? Well, oh, they're not going to cancel. Yes, you oh, know, I, Bob, 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 I think so. I, no. Okay. I, I think no. so. People are up in arms. Well, I know they there's are. A they'll lot hire of, a new coach. There's a lot of money at stake. House, We're or, talking hundreds of millions of dollars. I know, for one and season. this is the biggest problem. Yeah. Well, it is the biggest problem. Yes, that's money, what it is. You follow you the know, money yes, trail. Southern Cal got slapped, and theirs was uh, <clears throat> minor compared to this. Oh, yeah. And, well, yeah. Uh, you know, and LSU got uh, hit. Alabama. Well, let me ask you this. Too. Mm. Is this the worst thing you've ever seen as long as you've been watching sure. football? Yeah, sports. Okay. yeah. I'm trying to think what the second worst thing would be. Uh, maybe, the, I don't know. I, in my world, the slush fund scandal in Illinois was pretty uh, nasty, but that also had a lot of, they, guys like Bump's brother got hung out to dry mm, when yes, they didn't I, do anything yeah. wrong. Uh, there was more, yeah. they were looking for uh, what do you call them? Uh, uh, red herrings, is it? Uh, I don't. Know. They were well, looking for scapegoats, and th this yeah. is not. Uh, this is not looking for scapegoats. Well, you had Southern Mess of this thing in the mid '80s, and I don't even was that a money thing? I don't, it was. They pure got the money. death penalty. They got the only yeah. death penalty. You know, there's a lot of places that got. Uh, they got a uh, uh, lot of money. Oklahoma State. They got a. Mm -hmm. a, a a man down there that uh, oh, T Boone Pickens. Pickens, yeah. Yeah, he, he, and and the uh, guy at Oregon State or Oregon. Uh, oh, the the Nike, Nike guy. Man, he's up there. Yeah. yeah. And, and whatever, whatever they want, they get. Okay. Right. Yeah. So you don't know what's going on. Yeah, and we don't know what's going on. No. You know what this does, though. I don't. And it's about time. It's sending a message to these football programs and maybe athletics in general that you're not bigger than the university that you're representing. That's right. And I think it's sending a message to all coaches out there that, hey, <clears throat> no matter how big your ego is and how many games you've won, look, uh, here's a good example, Joe Paterno, mm -hmm. the winningest football coach ever, you're not in the university. Yeah. And you can be taken down if you don't handle things properly. I think Barra did a good job yesterday. Uh, oh, at lunch? Oh, yeah. yeah. He did. Yeah. He, he said that. Uh, yeah. I thought he did. Uh, you know, I thought... It, well, it, here's it, a problem. I want to answer it for you about him. The problem with all this, if they don't take care of football, you might as well start mm, cutting I see. 10, 12 programs. That's right. Mm -hmm. I am not against paying this coach that's bringing in 75, 80,000 every week and everything, and he has some control. He should have more control over these other sports because he's paying for it. Mm -hmm. And they don't take anything from the taxpayers. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have to really watch this thing that we not football big programs completely. Who are you talking about? Penn State. No, uh, talking, are you just talking about Penn State? Or are you talking about Iowa? No, I'm talking about the, all the NCAA. Just because Penn State did this, okay. this doesn't mean Kansas State did it. And, and well, they need to pay... They need to pay him a big salary over there to keep him. Mm -hmm. And what's he doing? My, he's winning. And what's he doing is filling that stadium. You're talking and about he's Snyder? Sponsoring, yeah. At Kansas Spon State? He's sponsoring volleyball, uh, rowing, and all these sports. Well, football supports everything at every major. That's yeah. no yeah. different anywhere. That's what I mean. I, so yeah. you can't Except not Duke. what these <laughs> coaches are getting either. No, but I'm saying it sends a matter to do it right. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not, your program 
I don't care if you're talking about Kansas State or Iowa. Your program is not bigger than the university that you represent. Well, what I was going mm-hmm. to ask right earlier, <clears throat> and I, especially Earl and Bud and, and, well, all three of you, would this represent the biggest fall from grace? Now, I know you asked Ooh. it in a different way, but before this happened, what was the biggest fall from grace for a university program, sports program? Was it Trestle at Ohio State? I mean, look what happened. They forfeited all their yeah. – was it the Michigan Fab Five? That was pretty big. I would say that was bigger yeah. than Trestle. That white you know, what Trestle did to me was minuscule compared to this. Yeah. But he lied. Yeah, he lied, yeah. but – And Trestle's deal uh, – that was they really didn't give him any suspension. I mean, they, what did they really get? He got fired. They lost. Oh, I know he they did. They got their season wiped the out. Program. They wiped that, out the season. That was over with. What did – they should have done it before they played in the bowl. That's oh, true. Damn right. They protected them again. Money. They should have suspended yeah, money. Right. They don't play those guys. That's right. And the, the yeah. sponsors say, no way. No way that's going to happen. They're not bigger than the, than the university. They're a lot bigger than the university. Yeah. There you go. Yep. There you go. Well, Bud's right. They should have suspended those players before that bowl game. That would have been the right thing to do. How but, did anybody, including the school president at Ohio State, justify that? By going to the NCAA. I don't know, but they did. They want the money, too. Oh, and yeah. now we're into this BCI or whatever BCS. that thing. BCS. BCS. <laughs> and, you know, there's too like much to people. BS, there's yeah. too much <laughs> mafia getting involved in the whole thing. Amen. Organized crime. And I don't know the definition of mafia, but that's what I feel. It's the Cosa Nostra. NCAA mafia. Yeah. Right. NCAA. Not I mean, look yeah. how many times we should have went to bowl and we didn't because they wanted Michigan or Michigan State or Ohio State or Penn State. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that the mafia was involved. Well, uh, again, it, it's more of an East Coast. <laughs> I really feel it it's, is. It's more yeah, of an East sure. Coast thing, and, and I think it's more I, – I, I, when Jim Montanaro said that, he wasn't necessarily implying the mob is involved, but the mob mentality right. of cover up, don't talk, omerta. Keep your lips up. Omerta, you know, <laughs> under penalty of death. But what do you think when you have one prosecutor, <laughs> he's gone. Prosecutor, and he's gone? He's gone. That's the mafia to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where is he at? All? He's not just gone, but his laptop was wiped clean. Who was the union guy they never did find? They're still looking for Jimmy Hoffa? He's probably 112 by now. (laughs) He and Jimmy are probably together. His boy went to school down here. Oh, did he? Sure, his boy. Oh, okay. Well, he was was at that quarterback club one time. Really? Who was? Hoffa's son. Huh. Was that right? Yeah. Yeah. I think I sat next to him. (laughs) <laughs> was he looking for Jimmy? <laughs> they, they have they ever found your dad? I don't yeah. think so. No, they they ever will either. Yeah, he, 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 I think it was in coming. Well, I'll be darned. Uh, is at the Hotel Jefferson. Oh, really? I'll be darned. So you're going back many, mm-hmm. many years. I'll be darned. He was probably here visiting Alex Karras. No, it may be. I don't know. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> well, the football team has enough about Joe Paterno. That's right. That's right. Our football team has a big game, a must-win game, at Purdue, our new hated rival. Yeah, hate Pence. them. Not sure why we hate them. but I'm not uh, sure, but they're our yeah. partner in crime. Yeah, yes. our partner. Uh, our protected rivalry with Purdue. In the other division. Yep. 11 a.m. Saturday morning on the Big Ten Network. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, and Regina starts at 1 o'clock. And right. Regina game is at 1 o'clock. That game is going to be on Fox TV. Channel 28. Mediacom. It's also going to be on KCJJ Radio. And I just learned today that KKRQ, the Fox, 100.7 FM, is going to carry the Regina game as well because okay. KXAC, their sister station, hmm. has a commitment to the Iowa okay. football. Game. Right, right. Okay. I'm glad you're bringing that. It's going to, this game is going to be on Fox. Right. Not the Channel 9 thing. Yeah, that's correct. 109. Well, this so, will be on Channel 28. And they're all on, starting with the eight-man football mm-hmm. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. the 4A yeah. is on Friday night at 7 o'clock. We're on prime time. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's your prediction, guys? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, which team is going to show up You know that Purdue? Iowa is still favored at Purdue? Mm-hmm. You know, I can say By what? I think it was I had two and a half. Two and a half points, okay. Now that's unusual when it's on the road. No kidding. I think Iowa's due mm-hmm. for a big road vic- game victory. I yep. do too. What do you think about bringing... I think they have to have this game. Well, they have to. Yeah. They just have to. And they know that. 
They do. Yeah. It's a buzzsaw in Michigan State. Probably the best defensive team in the Big Ten, mm -hmm. maybe at least equal to, if not better than Penn State's defense. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, they were just tough. They stuffed our running game, which nobody but Penn State had done all year. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I was going to ask you now, Mikhail McCall, the true freshman who played one quarter of the first game and went down Not with even an ankle one injury. quarter, but yeah. Should he come back? No. 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 no way. Even if it means it would help beat Purdue and or Nebraska? I don't think so. No way. I don't. I don't think well, so. Well, how is it different than Marcus Coker last year? It isn't. It's very similar. Yeah. Marcus got hurt. In preseason, yep. yet came back when well, we started I, losing I, running backs like Wager. He Wager's. played more than. Yeah, I thought he played more than he. I didn't think he could. Well, Coker played a little bit more than what yeah. he, he oh, came yeah. in. Oh, he yeah. Came he in ended the, up, but again, similar circumstances. Well, he Marcus came in the last just, season, probably. The mm -hmm. last five or six yeah. games, don't well, you think? Well, Coker was in. Regardless, why, I don't think they should. Oh, okay. I don't either. Okay. However, what I think that this team. Is determined to win some game. I think you're right. And I think they'll go over there, and then I think they'll give Nebraska a good battle over there. If Northwestern can do it at Lincoln, so can Iowa. Yeah. Well, now, Iowa can, yeah. Well, I mean, you want to right. remember one thing, and I'm going to tell you right now, Michigan will beat Nebraska. That's at Michigan. I wouldn't doubt it. I hope no, so. That's right. I hope so. Now, let's see. Uh, Michigan State ends up their season at, at Northwestern. Northwestern. They could get beat there. Oh, get beat. I'd love to see D'Antonio. Well, no. Now, here's – now, let's say. Let's say, for example – I would love to see that. Let's say Nebraska goes to Michigan. Let's say going to the weekend, Nebraska is one game behind Michigan State. Michigan State goes over and gets beat by Northwestern. Yeah. Guess who wins the tiebreaker? Iowa. Nebraska is in the Big Ten championship game. Do you want to see that? No. Okay. But I'd rather then see Nebraska Michigan than State. Michigan State right now. Really? I, I don't. Yes, I do not like D'Antonio. <laughs> I, I want to see Nebraska I go think away. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I don't think they're going anywhere. I don't want to see them in the Big I Ten. I think they will Saturday. I think you. Yeah, that could happen over at Michigan, bud. Yep. Well, there's still some exciting football to be played. Who does Penn State play? Ohio at State. Ohio State. Oh. And then you know where they finish? At Wisconsin. Oh. oh. So Wisconsin. And you know those Wisconsin fans are going to be. But now Wisconsin's got a tough one this week, too. Who do they play? Northwestern. Yeah. Ooh. At Northwestern. Yeah. At Northwestern. So yeah. this, this thing's all jumbled up. I just hope we don't end up in Detroit. How come <laughs> Iowa is I agree with that. We're, we're ending the season with two road games, which I learned today hasn't happened since 1984. Really? Two road games. Yeah, I can believe that. I Because yeah. really, after last week, I, I think Iowa the gets the green weedy all the time. Say that yeah. again? Oh, I do, too. Iowa gets the green weedy all the time. See, the thing that upsets me now. <laughs> they do. Yes. Uh, we haven't had one basketball game on TV. Nope. I'm and that's ready to wrong. talk about that. And then this MCI or Mediacom, Mediacom spends all this money to decorate the... <laughs> Why aren't they carrying some of those games? Well, they just came out with a commitment to do so. Mediacom. Will that yeah. be on tonight N then? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Or tomorrow night. Now, tomorrow night. Uh, yeah. tomorrow night. The, the girls women, tonight. The women have a game against Albany tonight, and okay. that's not on TV. All right. The men have a game tomorrow night versus Northern Illinois. Okay. It's not on TV. But I've been a good one to have on TV. Yeah. Why not? S well, uh, good question, Earl. Good question. Oh, really? Why not? I got no answers. I, well, I'll tell you why. Because it's the Big Ten Network. They can't possibly, apparently, put all the games on all the time. But by God, they're going to retain control of our why, games. Why should we see Michigan three time and Iowa none? Yeah. yeah. You know, where's the fairness here? It's not. It's not fair. It's all about money. It's all about TV sets and who. Michigan's a larger state with following than Iowa. No matter what, that's just the the way it well, goes. Well, when they explain this, to Mich us. Michigan's economy. Who? Uh, listen to the radio. So I. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, what about Sunday when we play Creighton in Des Moines? Okay, mm -hmm. that is on TV. That is on the Big Ten Network. Plus, Saturday, right after Regina, 
in their state title game at 1 o'clock. The Iowa women are playing at UNI in Cedar Falls in the new gym. The Nap? Oh. Is that? No. What do they call that? Naps in Des Moines. Yeah, what's the? I don't it's got I a know. It's got a McLeod. Yeah. McLeod. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that game's at 3 o'clock, and that's going to be on Mediacom 22. Hmm. And okay. just today, Mediacom released a number of games, not just Iowa and not just basketball. They're going to do a number of games through the season for Iowa men's and women's basketball, as well as Iowa State, as well as Iowa, as well as Drake, and, in addition, wrestling for all three schools. So okay. they've made a real commitment. Good. Good. It's, Good. It's not a quality broadcast. It's not a broadcast quality like high definition yeah. on... Yeah, uh, ESPN oh, or Big care. Ten Network, but it's on. Just put it on. That's I just, good. I'm really, I'm, you know, I go to all the home games, and it sickens me to know that uh, you can't watch it. Yeah, I mean that yeah. hasn't, it hasn't been like this. The early '70s, Iowa fans love Hawkeye basketball, men's and women, mm-hmm. and to not well, have the men's game on is just wrong. And this well, is the year to do it because you have no pros playing. Yeah. Well, it's no, especially important, I think, to the older people that are sitting at home. That's right. Don't have the opportunity to go, and weather is hindrance. And so that's good to hear that they're going to be able You're to watch more games. Money, you know. That's right. Like oh, Earl of Pearl. You tell them, the computer, I don't have a computer. Get on the computer. I won't sit there watching well, anything. you know what you do? Bud says, what's a computer? Yeah, right. You go old school and you turn on the radio and listen to Gary Dolphin and Bobby Hansen, and that's okay. But for 40 years, we've been, almost 40 years, we've been conditioned to watch every there game, you go. home and away, there you go. Yeah. because yeah. the demand was there, the advertising paid for the cost to do it, the games were sold out. Well, it's a whole different world now. The games aren't sold out. Let me tell you, I was at that game Monday night, and uh, it wasn't even close to sold out. They announced that there were 8,000 people there, and there might have been four. There might have been four. A bit of Monday night. I mean, oh, my yeah. God, you know. Oh, well, Monday night, and then yeah. uh, football still on. And, yep. you know, that's, Packers, Vikes were yeah, on. I mean. um, I'll tell you, we've got a very exciting men's team. Uh, there are a lot of new faces. Yep. Uh, they won both games they played Friday night and Monday. Friday they beat uh, Chicago State, which is just a tomato can of a team. Well, I've seen them have some good teams before. Yeah, but not this year. <laughs> well, I yeah. can't help them. Yeah. And then they, they beat a very good North Carolina A&T team. Very scrappy. I mean, and when I say scrappy, I mean like they played defense inside the Iowa jerseys that night, and they never let up. Full court press the whole game. But a concern. We had 26 turnovers. Yep. Well, that's a lot of turnovers. It's a lot guys. of young guys bringing yeah. the ball up. And Fran, I noticed, took Bryce Carp for extended periods of time just to give guys like Roy Marble or Devin Marble mm-hmm. and uh, Josh White the opportunity oh, he's, to bring he's the ball up. He's a ball player, ain't he? Josh White? Yeah. This is the kid from Ohio, freshman, true right. freshman. He didn't play good last He year. did not play well against North Carolina AT. Oh, did he? Okay. he struggled with that press. And he struggled with that tight, in-your-face defense. Uh, I I don't think Fran had any big issues with the turnovers. I think he had issues with uh, the defense and the fact that after building a huge lead, the the Hawkeyes had about, I think the largest lead was 28 points, give or Mm -hmm, take. mm -hmm. And then A&T kept coming back. They were just dropping in uh, three-pointers, in most cases uncontested. They were not rebounding well. Melson Basabi has some work to do. Um, he doesn't appear to be in game shape yet. Uh, you made a point about three pointers. Oh, that, that's ninety percent of some teams' offense. And A and T's offense. Running that good. That's where they were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like all these teams are mediocre. That's all they do is shoot three pointers. Yeah. Well, well, what a great uh, game Matt Gaines uh, played. And yeah. sometimes uh, career high. And then Drake good beat Iowa State game. last night. That yep. was a shocker. They what did? A shocker. Yes. Yeah, Drake beat Iowa and, State by and, seven uh, or nine. Or you something. and I beat Iowa State women. They did. Yeah. Unbelievable. Holy smoke. Unbelievable. They, they both got beat last yeah, night. Yeah, you bet. See, and exciting. It appeared to be exciting games. When do we, we play Thursday, don't we? It's coming up in a couple weeks. It's December. always the Friday after finals are oh, over okay. at the U. Okay. Um, that is in Ames. They got the, remember, Iowa State's got the, uh, what's his name, White, who transferred from yes. Minnesota. Yeah. 
who was all American in high school and just a devastating big man. Yeah. And they got a transfer from Michigan State. Oh, they got transfers from all from everywhere. Yeah, I mean, this is like the all over. Thing. All over. Oh. He's the criminal. He's the one who got basically tossed out of Minnesota for stealing laptops and. Okay. And uh, so, uh, this is the Ames all over. Now, Hulu why thing. would you take? It pretty much like is. That. You need ball players. A laptop? Why would you take it? Oh, because you want. Oh, to. why would you take someone like that? <laughs> he needed. Yeah, he needed players. Mm -hmm. I know, but you don't take criminals to make a team. Well, Hoiberg does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got a lot of talent on this team. It's going to be interesting really to see does. if they can mesh together. Well, uh, and I think Saturday they play uh, Fort Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a work release kind of deal? Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Good one, bud. Um, there, but, you know, I'll tell you, there's... <laughs> There's been some big, I noticed big improvement on the Hawkeye team. Number one, Matt Gaines. He mm -hmm. looks leaner, stronger, more confident. Um, he was just being manhandled. He, they were getting clubbed. I mean, literally hammered on the head uh, by North Carolina A&T and yeah. no foul called. And, you know, if they were out, I'd probably come out swinging. But <laughs> Matt keeps his cool. Bryce Cartwright kept his cool. I really admire guys that can take the punishment like that and dish it back in a positive manner, in a progressive yeah. manner, scoring. Matt, his shot was just beautiful the other night. 27 points, all-time high. He lost a little weight. He, he, yeah, he looks it a little Good. bit. He sure doesn't look skinny. No, but he uh, lost some. Bryce Cartwright, he's just a treat to watch with the ball. Yeah. He needs to work on his shot a little bit. Uh, uh, he, if we, uh, he's priceless to this team, at point guard. Oh, yeah, let's keep uh, him healthy. Eric May from Dubuque. Mm -hmm. He looks mm -hmm. great out there. He, you know, he started last year, looked great. Then and, he had the groin injury, uh -huh. and this year he looks even better. Yeah. And also, uh, the kid from Sioux City, M M uh, McCabe. McCabe, saw him at church uh, Sunday. Uh, he looked. He looks really strong. When he's out there, uh, he's he had two good He games. came off the yeah. bench Monday night, scored 15 mm -hmm. points. We mm -hmm. couldn't believe it. It was early, quick, like that. Didn't he have uh, 12 or something in the first game? Didn't he score double? I think figures? that's right. Yeah. Uh, they said he Gaines had his high, not just in the other game, the first mm -hmm. game he played, had his best drawing since he's been here. I, I, I was surprised. I think, I think that he, didn't he score 35 points in his first year? I thought they said that he's, his highest game prior to this one. The other night, scored 27, was 25 against Indiana last year. Huh. Yeah, last year, but his 20 first year, I thought his first year, yeah, he scored 35 too. points against somebody. Well, apparently not, okay. unless it was an exhibition. Well, maybe they missed it, too. Dirk, how do you compare where we're at today compared to last I'll year? tell you, exactly. Oh, yeah. Much quicker, much okay. more confidence, and greater numbers to rotate in and out. Yes. They okay. don't tire. Um, the one issue, I, Brommer. We're going to need the big man, Ammer, and he just came back from knee injury, mm -hmm. yeah. and it was a pretty serious knee injury, and he got hurt again. Mm -hmm. knee, oh, he knee went out again. Um, don't know how serious it is. He's listed as a starter for tomorrow night's game, um, but we'll see. i got a feeling he won't play for a while. That's kind of what I'm Who are you playing tomorrow night, did you say? Tomorrow night they play Northern Illinois. Okay. Ooh. And yeah, uh, it should be pretty tough. Northern, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yep. Uh, the other one. I'm curious about well, Devin Art. Yeah, he still looks lost out there offensively. <laughs> um, in fact, defensively too. <laughs> well, we're going to be hurting at the five spot. Yeah, you can't have Brommer not healthy, and uh, yeah. you know it's. Melson. You may see a smaller lineup some of these games. Yeah, where they rotate Masabi, Masabi, mm -hmm. Masabi. Melson, Masabi yeah. into into the five spot, and maybe start. He's you know, well, uh, he's McCabe well and uh, he's one of our better players, players, isn't he? Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. But he has. I think most of it's mental. I don't think he's quite <laughs> gotten in his head into game shape yet. He just looks to not be as focused as he needs to be. But it's early. He will be. And, and you know, these teams, a lot of them are tomato cans. This kid that signed from Sioux City, uh, he said Woodbury. Woodbury. Woodbury uh, uh, is he a, a, a sophomore or junior this year? Well, he's a senior. He's a senior. He's a senior. He oh, will yeah. be on the next squad year. next year. Oh. next year. Okay. And same with uh, Gassell. He's from across the Missouri River. Mm -hmm. uh, he and there are 
three other kids coming in too, point guards. And I don't think we got a. Uh, I, I think we got a, a coach that's a good recruiter, and he works. Yeah, out. he's yeah. a great mm-hmm. recruiter. Mm-hmm. I think you're right, Murph. Now I heard, and it come out of his mouth that Joe. he grew another inch already. He's seven right? one, yeah. supposedly wow. though. Yeah. Seven one or seven two. He's seven two now. Seven two. Yeah. Uh, we just got a couple minutes left, but I want to mention the Iowa women. I got to uh, see the game on Sunday where they lost to UNLV. This was a very good, very talented, very athletic, very fast, and very tall UNLV team who jumped out to a big lead midway mm-hmm. through the first half, and Iowa fought back and took a big lead into halftime. Maintain that lead into the middle of the second half, and then they went cold. Yeah. Iowa went cold. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eight-minute runners. Morgan Johnson, much like Andrew Brommer, went down with a knee. And they need Morgan Johnson big time because she's the only experienced big girl yeah. on the team. She's six foot four mm-hmm. or six foot five. She needs to play like she is that size. Well, she's got that tendonitis, and yeah. unless you've suffered with it, you just can't appreciate how painful it is. Something happened. If there was a collision, I could. Uh, there was a collision. I don't know, how, you know, what yeah. exactly injured her knee, but uh, when she went down, the rebounding ended, and she hadn't been playing very well up to that point anyway. Um, well, they got out rebound by twenty rebounds. Twenty rebounds. Yeah. UNLV went dramatic. on a twenty-six to three run to end the game. Wow. And Iowa lost by ten points. That's how big a lead Iowa had on these yeah, uh, Red gosh. Rebels. I, I didn't pay attention. I'll be darned. Well, it wasn't on TV. You couldn't pay I attention know. to it. Doug, on it. Uh, I listened to part of it on the radio, but yeah. not all of it. Yeah. That makes me so mad. Well, I'll be there tonight. The the women have Albany in town tonight. Uh, no TV. You can listen to it on KXAC. Yep. The men have Northern Illinois in town tomorrow night. Uh, there are games this weekend as well. When does uh, wrestling start? Wrestling, I'm glad you brought that up. Wrestling, yeah. the real sli- the real live season starts Friday <laughs> in St. Louis at the Lindenwood University Classic. Uh, then they come back next week for the Iowa Open, which is three dual meets throughout the day. But real wrestling starts Friday night on the road in St. Louis. Uh, I'm not sure. I believe that is going to XIC Radio as well. Um, let's see. I just want to make sure I got all the games lined up. Um yeah, that's 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 pretty much everything. So, so uh, Thanksgiving weekend, are the wrestlers here? Yes, Thanksgiving Friday, the wrestlers are here all day and night. Okay. Three dual meets. Uh, the men next week are at home on Wednesday night for basketball. The women are going to the Junkanoo tournament in Jamaica or somewhere Jamaica. like that. What about Shoot. from football? From yeah, wide Florida receiver. Uh, we're going to. I know where about that him. school's at. Well. He's not highly recruited. Oh, I see that. So we'll have to see how that. But he's a six foot two, hundred ninety pound wide receiver. Well, so done. yeah. So guys, we're out of time. Uh, as usual, it goes too fast. We really appreciate you watching Sports Opinion every Wednesday night at seven p.m. on Channel Eighteen. We're also on every Sunday night at six p.m. on Channel Eighteen. You can tune in to my page, Dirk Keller, <laughs> and watch the show there where I like it. Or you can go online and watch it at patv.tv. On behalf of Bob Boyd and Bud Supel and Earl Murphy, we thank you very much for watching. We want to thank Supel's Flowers for the bouquet every week, and we want to thank Joe Murphy for being behind the camera and behind the lights and making this show happen. Thanks for watching, and remember, either you're a hawk or you're not. Go Regals, too. Yeah.